On behalf of the City Council and the City of Morgan, and I have most of my council in the back. We've got Wendy Cato, my Mayor Pro Tem, Chris Hawkins, and Butch McSwain with us today. Uh, my city staff is back here, the electrical department, the planning department, uh, the engineering department are all here. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we in Morganton like to reuse a building, and this is a building that has been used in the past. We are so thankful that Unix has decided to locate here, take this building and make it productive again. Thank you so much. If there's anything the city can do uh, for Unix, please let me or city council or our city staff know. We are so, so thankful that you are here. This time I'd like to recognize Jeff Britton, Chairman of the Burke County Commissioner. Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It is my pleasure this afternoon to represent the Burke County Board of Commissioners. I want to recognize the county managers with us today, Brian Steen over here. I don't think I've seen any of our other commissioners today. You know, we've been eagerly awaiting this day for quite some time. It was actually back in uh, May of 2020 when we officially announced that Unix had uh, said they're coming to Burke County. And of course, we knew the building, we knew what was happening out here. We knew it was going to take a little bit of time. And so uh, these guys have been working hard. They've been uh, spending lots of money already just making this facility uh, ready to go. And we are uh, so delighted that now, after months of construction and setup, that uh, a state of the art beverage facility is here in Burke County, ready to make. Uh, product for consumers for many, many years to come. And I tell you what, if they bottle beverage here at Unix, half as good as they throw a party, <laughs> they're going to have a real successful standard. So, uh, let's go on the other hand. So we're just delighted that Unix has uh, chosen Burke County to uh, to to uh, make this their new home. We look forward to this great company being with us here in our community for many years to come. And on behalf of the Burke County Board of Commissioners, welcome you guys here to Burke County. It's my pleasure now to introduce to you um, one of the reasons and, and probably starters of getting this project underway, our President and CEO of Burke Development, Inc., Mr. Alan Wood. everyone for being here. Uh, what a party these guys know how to throw. I'm not surprised because everything I've seen them do has been top notch. So I'll give them a hand for this. <laughs> uh, this so real quickly, uh, Jeff said when this announced, this actually started back in August of uh, 2019 with Carl Reese from Electro Cities and he couldn't be with us today, uh, actually called on, uh, called on units at their California facility. And uh, I think they had been looking for something on the East Coast for quite some time, maybe up in some of those northern states. But, you know, but uh, out of chaos comes opportunity, and this facility was closing, and it led to the opportunity of units uh, joining us uh, in Burke County. Uh, has not necessarily been an easy or a straight path, but once you go inside and see this building, you will be greatly impressed. Uh, I'll say something that Bobby said to me in passing one morning at breakfast. He said, you know, we're really good at what we do, and that's why customers want to do business with us. And I think if you look at the uh, list of customers, who they do business with, and the volumes that they turn out, you will understand why that is. I just walked through the facility with them. It is outstanding. The lines are pristine. This is state of the art. This is the most state of the art facility that we know of anywhere, not just on the East Coast, but pretty much in the United States. So I hope you all will take the time, if you get the chance, uh, to walk through this with them. Uh, for minutes, I want to thank Bobby and Sean and Bruce and Bays and Nazi. I know that there's a whole lot of other folks, but those are the ones that I primarily work with. They've been a pleasure to work with. 
and I just can't thank them enough for what they're doing for our community. Uh, I mentioned electric cities, city of Morgan, everything they did with the permitting, uh, Burke County and Morgan did with the incentives, our help from North Carolina Department of Commerce, uh, Bill Slagle's here from the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina, he's our regional rep, uh, Western Piedmont Community College and their assistance with training uh, workers. Uh, it's really hard to do it without skilled workers. And Western Piedmont's been at the table uh, with this. The contractors, they added over 55,000 square feet to the facility. I think Wilkie Construction was the main uh, contractor there. Uh, thanks to the Chamber of Commerce and to all the employees that are going to be here and have the opportunity uh, to work with units as time goes on. Uh, we thank you for the commitment. We look for this to go for many, many years and to do nothing but grow. So once again, thank you for being here. Thank you. thank you, Alan. We really appreciate all you do and your team that help bring companies like units to Burke County. On behalf of the Chamber, I'm so excited to participate today. I love when we get to grow in our businesses and in our community, and in this case, in our Chamber family has grown with you being here. We're so excited to have you a part of the Chamber. I want you to know that we are here for you to support you in any way we can, help you grow, and help in um, multiple ways. So please call on us at the Chamber. I have Haven here. Casey's not with us, but she's here to help you. So anything we can do for you guys, let us know. Uh, I want to recognize we have uh, an elected official here that's not been recognized. We have the mayor of Valdez with us, Chip Black. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I'm honored at the chamber to work with some amazing board members. I'd just like to recognize them. Um, Kevin Baxter, Dalton Walters, uh, Nicole Niebauer, back there, Alan Wood. Um, Ed Phillips may have had to leave, um, but he was here. Louis Benai is in the back, Cheryl Shuffler is over here, and Susan Burley in the back. So thank you all for attending today. Um, I also have an amazing group of ambassadors that show up to events, and today they say, I'm so glad I came. Uh, so I'd like to recognize uh, Myron Stevens, Leanne Britton, Austin Helms, uh, Christina Kyes, and Tammy Lowe, and last but not least, Janet Hanna, who I'm going to introduce in just a second. Um, on behalf of all the, the Burke County businesses and those members of the chamber, I'm so excited to have units here. We, we, we thrive. The, our mission is growing business and building community. So helping you to grow your business is exactly why I come to work every day. So please let us as this chamber staff, our board members, our ambassadors, let us know how we can help you, how we can help you grow, and we're just excited to have you. So again, welcome you next to Burke County. <laughs> so Janet Hanna, one of our ambassadors, she's a business relations representative of WorkSource West Vocational Rehabilitation. It's a mouthful. Uh, she has a gift for you guys, if you don't mind coming forward. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Burke County Chamber of Commerce Ambassadors, we would like to welcome you next to our wonderful community watching us grow. Um, I went through this plant. I haven't gone through it yet, to that yet, but I went through it when it was previously Hickory Springs, and I'm so excited to be able to look and see all of the wonderful changes that y'all are making. So to commemorate this wonderful occasion of your really ribbon cutting, the ambassadors have a plaque that we would like to present to you in its packaging. Okay, so that's all I'm asking. So, <laughs> I think the man who needs to come up here is Mabel because she's been part of the feed on the ground. <laughs> man of the hour, one of the men of the hour. I'd like to do a special. Before we start, I want to thank Amanda McFarland for helping putting this event together. Thank you, Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mayor, members of Burke County Chamber of Commerce, our vendors, our customers, Unix team members, employees, and friends. My name is Bayes Melamed, 
On behalf of my partners, Joseph Malamed, Franco Rastelli, Danny Ariampour, Bobby Malamed, Kurosh Malamed, Sean Ariampour, and a blessed memory, Isaac Ariampour, we welcome you to the grand opening of Unix Packaging Morganton, North Carolina. Today is four years in the making, and it would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of many people. First and foremost, we thank the representatives that manage economic development in North Carolina. You are the reason why we are in the great state of North Carolina and the beautiful city of Morganton. Carl, Carl Reese, Alan Wood, Paul Teague, and Laura Johnson Lee, thank you. Please stand up as we honor you. thing that my partners and I always agree on is the importance of building the right team. So far in Morganton, we have been blessed to have a great management team. Please help me in honoring our quality control manager, Brian Geiger, and the mechanical maintenance manager, Matthew Sanku. Every great team has a great leader. Our plant manager has all the partner's confidence and trust. Ty Harrison, we believe in you and your leadership. Please stand up as well. Thanks, Ty. The next person has kept me out of trouble since the seventh grade. She is more than just a friend, but more like a sister. She is in many ways the voice of reason to the partners and often the person that cleans up our mess. She is our most trusted advisor and in-house counsel. Thank you for your, all your help. Please put your hands together, together for Nazi Ganesh. <laughs> Imagine for a second that you're a pilot and can fly a plane, or you're a sailor that can sail across the Atlantic. Or you are racing your dirt bike in the Sahara Desert. Now imagine being able to do all three and still find time to engineer and build a top-notch bottling plant like the one you see next door. The only word that comes to mind is extraordinary. And that is exactly what our partner Franco is. What you see here today would not be possible without the leadership, expertise, and work ethic of our captain, Franco Rastelli. <laughs> Lastly, to our newest Unix employees. As you can see and probably been told, this is a family business and we will treat it as such. You are now a part of our extended family and that comes with a high level of ethics integrity, and respect. We are truly blessed to be working with the biggest brands in the world. The products we will be making here will be in millions of people's hands every day, and you should be very proud of that. I hope that every time I come here, our family gets bigger and bigger. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Really appreciate it. Now I'd like to introduce our Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes? All right, cool. Uh, Welcome. Can I? The poly, you Can you see it? See it? You can use it now. No, I'm going to see. Welcome, everybody. My name is Sean. Um, I'm going to make this quick. One thing I do want to echo, and I'm sure, uh, obviously, Bayes has touched on it, but one thing that's kind of really important to mention is we started Unix packaging 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Ever compost that gentleman back there and I <laughs> and we're the first guys, you know, to kind of start operating the day to day at Unix. And we finally dragged Bobby away from what he's doing and he gave us the pleasure of the day to day. And shortly after that, Kurosh Malamud joined us and then serendipity happened and Baze and Franco, and that's a really unique story on its own, opened up 
Las Vegas. Um, make no mistake about it. All the fancy machinery in the world is really just fancy machinery without competent team behind it. Um, we make a consumable product. Products that your kids you know, drink, your family members drink, you drink, people that you love drink. And so when we stand behind a product that we know is safe enough for everybody to drink, understand that we do it with integrity. We do it with compassion. We do it with our heart and soul. Because let me tell you, this is not an easy business <laughs> by any means. Um, and the fact that we get to do it with people that share that same compassion with us is the only reason we wake up every day. Because believe me, no one really loves this business until they know they've been in it and they can see what it is at the end of the night when you see a product on the shelf. I'm like, wow, I help produce this. I help bring this to life. And that, that sense of gratitude, that sense of pride is what transcends down all the way to the people that operate the janitorials. So that cultural hierarchy wouldn't happen without us believing in quality. Um, I do want to say that this city and this town has been nothing but welcoming with open arms, very much like a family, and we really look forward to continue to expand with this local town. Uh, tell your friends about it, tell your family about it. We're hiring, we want to continue to grow. This is just the beginning for us out here. And we thank you. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, and thank you very much. I've got to do something with my hands, right? <laughs> so, um, hello, I'm Ty Harrison. Um, the problem with going last is that every, 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 Thanks, thanks for just turning up so I don't have to look like I'm uh, stuck on a wall pop here. So the problem with going last is everything you want to talk about has already been said. Um, I think you guys, most of the council members, remember me from when we went to the council meeting. Remember that? We talked about family. We talked about um, building relationships, making sure that people come to work every day safe. They leave safe. They want to come to work every day, um, and that's what we've that we've been able to accomplish here. Now um, we're still a little bit shy, so folks are talking about needing uh, needing some help. We need some help. Uh, I'm sitting around 80 or 85 employees, and I'd like to be at 140 um, in short order. So that's phase one of our project. Um, once we get phase one of the project done uh, and expand it a little bit more on our manufacturing manufacturing platform, then uh, we'll need some more on top of that. And offsite warehousing and everything else we're going to do, right? So um, we do we do need your help getting employees to uh, to come and apply, good employees to come and apply. So when you talk about family business, you know, I think it was early March. I get a phone call from a recruiter who said, "Listen, uh, there's some fellows, uh, kind of hard to work with, but there's some fellows that uh, are kind of interested in a guy like you." I said, okay, well, I'm just an old bottling guy. I've been doing this for like 32 years. I think September was 32 years. I said, okay, well, I'll talk to him. So um, I show up under the direction of the HR person in a suit to interview with these fellows down here at the plant. And they're all wearing jeans. And, you know, Sean's got the, uh, the style of the day on, you know, wearing the flash and sneakers and all this kind of stuff. So right away, they start making fun of me. They're like, what are you doing in this, right? I said, well, I was told to wear it. So, you know, um, I knew right then and there that, I, that I'd signed up with a good group. Um, they are very supportive. Without the leadership of the captain there, um, I, I've only done uh, injection molding and bull molding, so filling is, is new to me. So Franklin was taking me under his wing and, and trying to uh, uh, enhance that part of my experience. So I get in with these guys, and, and they're like, listen, we don't want to make this complicated. You know, we want you. You know what you. You know what you're doing. Uh, this is my third facility that I've been a part of uh, building. So just go do what you want. Or just, this, the one guy's going to talk to you. It's going to be Sean. This one guy's going to talk to you. I said, okay, that's, that's pretty good. You know, it's, this is a family. It's pretty level management. We can do that, right? No, no, that's not the case. I get phone calls from all. Maurice <laughs> is going. Why are you buying this? You know, can't we do something different? Bobby's going. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not what we do in Montebello, man. Come on, you know that. Sean's over there going, no, we ain't paying for 
Well, that's too much of comfort. No, we ain't doing that. But, you know, if, uh, if it wasn't for that type of uh, interaction and fun, it wouldn't be fun to come to work every day. And uh, that's what this group has, has made this for us. So when we talk about hard work, um, I think it was February 22nd was my first day. They tell me, hey, Ty, we need to be running by March. And I go walking out in the plant, and there's holes everywhere where they dug all the concrete up, put new drains and stuff in. And I said, no, I think we're going to miss that mark, but we're going to go to the shop. So then we started in the hiring process. Pretty much, I think most of my, the employees here started coming in around the, the May June time frame. So they've been with us. They've been with us for quite a while. The maintenance staff came in first, and then we branched out to the to the everyday uh, operators and forklift truck drivers and everything here in the plant. So it's been a long, 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 long journey, and it's just beginning. Um, for the folks who get to go in and see the see the plant in here. You don't, you don't have any idea what it took to put this in. Sean's right. Shiny equipment is the shiny equipment. It's everything else that goes behind it. The blood, sweat, the tears, the late nights, the, the aggravation and everything that goes along with it, let alone COVID, right? So trying to get equipment here and trying to get people hired and, and COVID hits, right? And it's going hot and heavy. So um, to make a long story short, this has been a wonderful journey. Uh, to all my employees, I thank you. Uh, I may look like I'm in a, in a bad mood or something when I'm going across the plant in the mornings. It's not that. It's just I'm on a mission, right? I think you all know me pretty much by now. Um, I want uh, everybody to enjoy this day because it was a long, long, long time coming. But it's just beginning. We haven't, uh, we uh, done a couple trial runs, but we haven't really started producing. So when this plant gets up and going, uh, we should be doing about five and a half million containers filled a day. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's in just in one day, we twenty four seven doing those. So, um, amen. That's right. Amen. That's all we got to say. Right, guys? So, again, enjoy yourself. If you haven't been in the facility and need a tour and like to go in there, um, I believe uh, Tech Long still has the uh, blow motor spinning. I believe the heat tunnel is still hot for the labels. Uh, you're more than welcome to come in and check out what we got. Thank you, Todd. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all for coming again. Um, we are going to move locations now, so if the leadership with Unix Packaging, the Chamber Board and Ambassadors would all meet us up on the sidewalk, and anyone else who would like to, to come witness, we're going to get the big scissors and the ribbon and cut some ribbon to officially open. <laughs>